Good morning YouTube, this is Waterfall Joe and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a little different than what I've done before and I'm excited to see what you guys think. Today we're doing a lens review. This is the Tamron 50-400 to that was just recently released for the Nikon Z mount. And I'm going to be taking it out and I'm going to be shooting it and I'm going to show you what I think and we're going to do some sample photos. This was just recently released for the Nikon Z mount just a few weeks ago and I got my hands on one and we're going to go out and we're going to go shoot. But first I want to give a big thank you to Milford Photo and Milford Connecticut for letting me borrow this. This is not my lens, although maybe one day I might buy it, but they let me borrow this lens to go out and film a video with it. If you need a good camera store to check out, head to milfordphoto.com or if you're in Connecticut, check out Milford Photo in person. All right, so let's go ahead and get this puppy out. So this lens has a price of $12.99. I absolutely love how Tamron packages these new lenses. They're very easy to get out. All right, here it is, moment of truth. It does have a lock switch, which allows you to lock it at 50 millimeters. Very, very nice zoom. Here's the front element. Nice lens hood. Of course, like any Tamron product, it is fully weather sealed. And this lens also has the VC vibration compensation. So any handheld shooting will be a lot easier with something like that. But here it is. I don't have the weight offhand. I, I'll put it on the screen once I get it. Doesn't weigh much at all. It does weigh less than a Nikon 100 to 400Z. So this is a good alternative for anyone looking for one of those. So for the past few years, Tamron has been making some spectacular lenses for the Sony E-mount. And finally, the past couple of years, us Nikon Z shooters are finally starting to get a taste of that. This is one of the lenses that has existed for Sony for many years now, but they have finally brought it to the Z-mount just a few weeks ago. I'm absolutely loving this trend of Sony having lenses, but Tamron also bringing them over for us Nikon shooters. Uh, I always kind of joke that if Tamron makes a lens for the E-mount, there's a chance it might come over to the Z-mount one day. So this has always been one of my wish list lenses from the E-mount, and I'm so happy that Tamron has brought it over to us Nikon shooters. Nikon, Canon, Sony, everyone makes a 100 to 400, but leave it to Tamron to take that, that normal range and say, why can't we just go a little bit further? So they went all the way down to 50. So I think this lens could be a great alternative to say carrying a big 100 to 400 with you, uh, especially for my fellow travelers. You pair this up with say a 24 to 70, or if you shoot Sony, you also have the option of the Tamron 17 to 50 f4. You pair the 17 to 50 f4 with the 50 to 400. You're now covered from 17 all the way to 400 with no gap. Uh, for uh, my fellow Nikon shooters, I'm going to probably recommend maybe a 24 to 70, a 28 to 75. Any of those lenses will be great, and then this will take you all the way up to 400 millimeters. So. That's enough chit-chatting here in the office. How about we take this out and let's go take some pictures with it. So I'll meet you there. All right, we've made it to our destination. Today, we're at Chauncey Peak. Uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly. This is here in Meriden, Connecticut, kind of right here in central Connecticut. We're already starting to get a few autumn colors out here, which is great. I should come back here in like a month when this is all beautiful autumn foliage. 
but I figured there was no better spot to test out the zoom capabilities of the 50 to 400 than such a vast overview here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a few test photos at 50 and a few test photos all the way at 400 and just show you how versatile and how big the range is on a lens like this. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so here we are at 50 millimeters, and I'll take the photo for you guys to check it out. Okay, so here we are at 50 millimeters, and you can see we have quite a vista here to observe and enjoy. Now, let's go ahead and zoom all the way into 400 and show you the true telephoto potential of this lens. So let's go ahead and just zoom all the way into 400 here, and let's go ahead and take that shot. All right, so now I'm going to put the two side by side here on the screen just to show you the power of what 50 to 400 could be. Now, something to note on a lens like this is it does have vibration compensation, and when paired with a body such as my Nikon Z6 II, which has in body image stabilization, you're getting some spectacular handheld capabilities out of this lens. Although using a tripod or a monopod, if you're doing this for extended periods of time, will definitely help you big time. I actually put this on my tripod earlier. I had a little bit of fun with it. My only comment would be, if your tripod isn't very sturdy, this might actually tilt just a little bit. So it might be worth getting a third-party tripod collar adapter if you're gonna be doing a lot of tripod activities. So who is this lens for? Well, first, if you're a traveler and you like to maybe carry as few lenses in your camera bag as possible, I absolutely recommend this lens. You pair this with the mid-range and you are absolutely covered. Good to go. If you're a bird photographer or a sports photographer looking for a very versatile zoom lens, look no further. This lens is also fully weather sealed and it's stabilized. So I have no problem at all hand holding it out here today. Now I don't want this video to turn into a comparison video of this versus that or anything. But I do want to mention that in terms of the Nikon Z system, there is one other lens that kind of comes close to this and that is the Nikon Z 28-400. to Now that lens also covers a huge range. You do gain a little bit extra on that lens versus this lens, and they are both $12.99 currently. Just to quickly touch on it, which one would I recommend? If you don't mind carrying a second lens with you, like a 24-70, to I would maybe go this direction. If you are kind of looking for just one lens to do everything, then I would recommend the 28-400. to they both have a similar aperture, although at, at 400 millimeters, this one is actually an f6.3, where the Nikon is an f8. That is, if you're in any low light situation, the f6.3 is going to let a little bit more light into your lens versus that f8. So kind of feel at your camera bag, see what looks good for you. They're both incredibly well-made lenses. They both have stabilization and they are both weather sealed. So there is great alternatives for a good travel lens in the Nikon system. You have options. Okay, so we are at this gorgeous vista and there is a very famous rock structure called Castle Craig and it was built on top of a, a big cliff. And uh, I'm gonna show you how tiny it is here. So right, let's see if I can get it right over here. There should be a little piece sticking up just above the horizon. And that is Castle Craig. Now I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the 50 to 400. Okay, so now I have it pulled up at 400 millimeters on my 50 to 400. And I'll go ahead and take the photo. Actually, I tried to go there to film this video, but the road to the top was closed and I wasn't really in the mood to hike that. But if we go ahead and zoom into this photo, there is Castle Craig. All right, everyone, we're gonna wrap up the video there. I hope you had a great time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something new about a new lens, and I hope you enjoyed the breathtaking vistas here in Connecticut. Please consider subscribing. I'm almost at 200 subscribers, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, you know, if you like photography, if you like any camera-related stuff, or if you just like hiking videos, outdoor videos, pretty pictures, that's what I'm all about. So consider subscribing. Leave a comment what you thought, and uh, share this video with a friend, you know. If you know anyone who likes photography, send them over. I hope you take care. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so much. This is Waterfall Joe. Take care.